I'm from Temple, Texas, born and raised. Uh, joined the Air Force straight out of high school to be a dental assistant slash prophylaxis technician. Um, after that, stayed in Germany, studied at Schiller International University, uh, did a TEDx for Heidelberg, Germany, and uh, I came back to study cybersecurity at Divergence. And now I'm building my own app called Beyond Wallet. So that's a quick synopsis of me. I've always been into tech, math, and science, and I was just like, okay, well, I love hacking, uh, so I might as well just, you know, see what's out there and that's available to veterans. And Divergence was actually number one when I did my search. So um, I called up Beth and they walked me through everything and I was in there within like the next two months. So that's how I got at Divergence. I think, um, I would say that pen testing is a lot different because um, you're, you're really learning how to you're really learning how to penetrate everything. I mean, that's in the name, but it's teaching you how to actually get into things. So, you know, you have your black hat, your white hat, gray hat, hackers. Um, but I was somewhat of that guy that's like, I'm so good that I'm gonna try to get in whatever you have. I don't care if it's your Wi-Fi, your phone, like that's the type of person I am. So pen testing was the way for me to go. So I can do it to my whole family and they wouldn't know, you know, what happened. I would say right from the beginning, like it was a go, you know, we, we had the material. I mean, it looked like I was about to go through four years of college in about a couple months. And um, what I liked was being here every day, um, getting to actually connect with other veterans who wanted to do the same thing. That was pretty cool with me. Um, there was also some students who didn't want, who weren't veterans. But um, overall, I got to be around people who knew what it was like to transition from the military to cybersecurity or they weren't a part of the field. And the instructor, he was very like hands-on. So everything we learned, it, it played a part in what we were doing along the course. So whether it be from the book or you know from the instructor, you could go home and practice that on each other. So we'd be trying to hack each other while we're all sitting in a hotel, just like who's on the Wi-Fi or something. So. It was cool. I would say my biggest challenge was getting ahead. Um, I kept trying to like see what we were doing next. That way I can use it on them when we get to class and you did not want to get up out of your seat. So anybody ever attending here, never get out of your seat or always lock your computer because someone's going to hack it, change your backgrounds, do whatever they can to delete all your information. That was the biggest challenge. I love them. Um, I actually went to um, intern for one of the instructors when I finished. Um, it would last for a couple of weeks, but he taught me so much even offline that it, it was just unimaginable. I mean, their credentials are out of this world. So you're not just getting an instructor who is like, like they like they just want to be a teacher is what I mean. Um, I'm one of those people that I have to learn from somebody actually doing it and doing it now. Uh, not someone who did it 20 years ago and now they're teaching me. So um, having the type of instructors that we had was amazing. I would say my biggest takeaway was learning about data security. I would say that, um, you know, the biggest asset in this world is data. And I'm a big believer in, you know, keeping data to yourself. Like privacy is important. And being that, you know, you can get on the internet, type in some commands, um, it, it was important to me. Um, so getting to see that, I'm, I'm learning how companies take people's data. I'm learning to read the fine print and share that knowledge with other people. And I, I just think that's something to pass on. It got me to where I am now. I mean, as the founder of Beyond Wallet, um, it was all based on security. I mean, you look at some of these apps that, you know, people have that they send money back to their family, to their friends that they're using for their businesses. Um, it's not really as secure as they make it seem. And as a person who has done the pen testing, who has other pen testers on his side, um, I can easily say that the users don't really know what's going on because everything is closed source. 
And I believe once they figure out open source is the way to go, um, that way you can have different levels of security personnel testing your applications. Um, I think they'll understand that it's very important when it comes to data and securing your intellectual property. So Beyond Wallet was made to securely send money uh, domestically and internationally, um, also to help small businesses with merchant processing. So my goal was looking at different companies and how um, they exploit users wanting to send money back to their families, whether they be from Mexico or China or um, Germany, just anywhere. So when I looked at the numbers, I was like, wow, okay, now it's time to go through all the apps. And I started looking at the security of the apps, um, the, the fees they were charging and just everything associated with what people liked and didn't like. And we probably spent about a whole month of just research on numbers every single day. And so after getting to, you know, the realization of what's really going on, um, I was like, you know what, let's create Beyond Wallet. Let's make it to where there's no personal identification um, indicators associated with the app and let's make it easier for our users and save them money. So that's really how I built it. I would say try to learn as much as you can. Um, because there's only so much that you can learn, you know, while you're here. Um, you have your curriculum, you go through the steps, it's a whole process, but it's just like college, it's just like high school. You know, they can give you all the keys, but it's up to you to take that and go beyond.